keep growing and getting better. Was it just kind of sketchy on offense, I guess, just because maybe not as fluid as you would like? Yeah, you know, we had a bunch of different lineups in, and so obviously they're out of their spots a little bit. Um, and that was on full display, I thought, offensively. But offense takes skill, right? That's different. Defense takes positioning and effort. And I thought the defensive, it was the defensive letdown that I was disappointed in. It seemed like they were settling for jumpers early, but once you got going, lay up, lay up, lay up, lay up. Uh, yeah. Tell, tell me how that game changed. Yeah, you know, we when we're fast, we're really good. The, the challenge is how do you play fast and then in the quarter court be able to execute, right? There, there's a fine line there between control and freedom, and we're still figuring that out, as all good teams are. Um, but that, from good to great, is, is figuring that out. Is, is that about the best you've played in transition this season? I'll just talk to you on yeah, stage, you know, out of the, you mean out of the third quarter? I thought we weren't advancing our outlets. We weren't getting the ball and bounce quick enough in the first half, but the second half, especially in the third quarter, that was an emphasis coming out of halftime. So when did you decide to down the shirt? Oh, this was, <laughs> yeah, you know, I, we wanted, they won it on the, I think it was the 20th. They won the national championship. We haven't been home in so long. Um, so the opportunity that we had to finally celebrate their national championship, I was hoping I was going to change at halftime uh, and wear the soccer shirt, uh, obviously, in the second half. But, um, you know, I, we'll always celebrate national championships here. And, and we were playing for the, 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 the Carolina on the front of the jersey, you know. And so um, I, it worked out well that it's also um, a, a day to, to honor Karen and all that she's done. But, um, you know, much like um, true to Karen, she'd rather me honor her team. And that was the plan all along. A not nice bounce back game for Alyssa. Yeah. Can you talk about maybe what, what was going on with her in Indiana and what changed tonight? Yeah, she, you know, it's hard to keep Alyssa down, right? She didn't play well in the, uh, against Indiana. Um, watched film, was in the was in my office, um, and was able to regroup. You know, um, she's an experienced player. Um, she was more comfortable with the ball in her hands, um, and she did. She played a little bit further away from the basket, um, which helped as well. We moved her to the guard spot a little bit. Um, but yeah, Alyssa's a kid you you roll with, good or bad or ugly. It was nice to have 11 players and be able to play a lot of people. It's first. great. I mean, Ariel Young just came back from injury. She's still restricted, but what a huge moment when you've missed a year because of an ACL to have an opportunity to go in a basketball game. And um, it's always good for a coach when you can call a kid's name who's been out for a while. How did it feel being back in kind of a friendly environment from a coach versus being in Indiana where the team kind of like struggling with that, like, this heavy like, environment? Yeah, I told them before the game, what I really like about being home is that there's a lot of people that are eager about watching this team play. Um, and they've earned that. There's a lot of excitement about this program and this team, and so uh, I'm glad they were able to feel it tonight. And then another good all-around game for Destiny. Blocks, assists, rebounds, Super points. active. The kid's super active, and, and I think to be great, you have to um, not only be, be active at the point of a change of possession or the, or the big moment, you have to be active throughout. And um, she, she's just active throughout possessions, you know, and so when it's in, in her area, she can make play on the ball, and when she's not, she's still active enough to be disruptive on the backside. So uh, her activity is a, is a real positive for us, for sure. Can you learn anything from a game like this? And if you did, what, did, sure. you, what did you learn? Oh, gosh, yeah. You know, I, I learned that, and I just told him in there, I, I learned that, you know, to be great defensively has to matter individually and collectively um, against no matter who you're playing. Um, and I thought we were, we were sort of, we were expecting them to turn it over, so we weren't doing our job and positionally sound. Um, and so we got some growth to make on the ball. We have some growth to make um, with ball screen defense. We have some growth to make, um, you know, outside of the main um, possession, like what's happening on the weak side, what's happening in our gap. So for sure, we'll have plenty of defensive takeaways in that game. Kind of talked about it before, but how do you write the ship offensively and you know get back on track? Because the last two games have been your you know, lowest two, uh, excuse me, lowest two point outputs of the, of the year. Of the year, yeah. I thought against um, Indiana, we actually played pretty well offensively. Um, you know, we didn't we missed 19 layups, which doesn't go well. Um, but overall, we moved the ball better. We got great shots. Th uh, tonight, I think Will and I break down the offense. I'm not sure I'll love the shots that we got. Um, and that's something again that this experienced team has to figure out. You know, we want to. We want to get great shots, um, and that will our shooting percentage will will improve when that happens. And in the fourth quarter, kind of some bumps offensively, but I guess it's hard in a game like that to oh, keep the for intensity. Sure. Yeah, yeah, you know that's why I think offensively, I told them it, first of all it does take skill and timing, and the fluid lineups can make that rhythm a little disruptive. Um, so I, for me, it's not worried about the offensive end. You know, it was defensively um, how good are, how, how good are we willing to be um, by doing the little things, and I thought we were just okay. Thanks, Courtney. Thank you. Yep, of course. All right, who's next? I have the buzzer. Oh, hey. Hey, Destiny. All, all around game, I mean, you were stuffing the stats on many categories assists, uh, blocks, mm -hmm. rebounds, points. Uh, 
Tell me about how your game went tonight. Uh... I mean, I feel I was just playing my role. I was doing what the team needed me to do. Um, that's being aggressive, doing the little things, and that's just what I do. And then, and then the defense has really come around from last season. Can you talk about that ending of the game for you? For you? I mean, again, it's just a confidence thing. I mean, last year I was a little more on the nervous side, but this year I just I do what I've, no, I've always known how to do, and I think that really pushes my defense. What triggered that like, like burst of confidence this year? Um, I would definitely say working on my game more and more. I mean, the more you work out, the more you gain confidence, and that's really what helped me. Appreciate you coming. And you guys got in transition and just piled up the layups. And, uh, how was it defense that sparked most of those? Of course. I mean, every time we get a defensive stop, we look to push, and I think that's why our main focus needs to be on defense. Second least amount of points allowed this year, aside from the South Carolina State game. Mm -hmm. Now, what was the key to stopping NCW? Who had a size advantage over y'all at some time? I mean, just having each other's back. As long as we were in the right position and we were there for each other, stops would come easily. Thanks, Dustin. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Dustin. Thanks, Hey guys, how are you doing? Hey Alyssa, uh, nice bounce back game for you. I know, I know it was a tough game up in Indiana. Yeah. Tell me about that game and how did you turn things around tonight? You know, Indiana is a great team. Uh, I'm not sure what they're ranked in the country right now. I'm, st I'm sure still top five. Um, but again, that's just a good team and we're playing in a hard place to play. Um, but that game allowed us to see what areas we need to work on, both offensively and defensively. So I think that great, although we lost that game, it was a great game to have this early in the season so we can tune some things up for conference play. But I mean, individually, you were missing shots you normally made at Indiana, but they were falling tonight. What was the difference for you personally? Um, I would just say a little more recovery time. I think us traveling out to Portland and um, getting back late, we have a day of, of practice recovery, we're back on the road to Indiana. That's a tough stretch for any team. And so I think that could just speak to collective um, decrease in field goal percentage. I know it's exam season, but what, it's been, what has it been like uh, being back in Chapel Hill? There's nothing like being in Chapel Hill. It just, it feels like home to all of us who come from many states away. And it's just great to play in front of our fans and uh, the energy, there's nothing like it. The, you, you got out of transition probably as well as you have, maybe maybe better in, at South Carolina State. Uh, how were you able to get in transition so much? I guess it was the defense? Yeah, I, I always believe that defense turns into offense. So if you play hard on the defensive end, you get a rebound, or you get a steal, then you get to push it the other way. So just it starts on the defense end. It seemed like you guys were settling for jumpers early, but then when you, then, then that shifted. Uh, is that something you guys talked about? Um, not necessarily. I think that was just a part of the flow of the game. Um, we kind of emphasized uh, moving the ball around, utilizing ball screens to help get each other open and share the ball as much as we could and try to make some good assist plays. Yeah. Up until that last basket by Anya, it was going to be back-to-back -back games where y'all had season lows and, uh, and points. What's, uh, what's been going wrong and how do y'all write the ship offensively? Uh, there, I don't think there's anything wrong offensively. I think it's just every game is unique. Um, some games are more of a defensive battle than others, so there's nothing wrong offensively. I would just say our defense could be a little tuned up, and that's going to be something we're going to work on this week. Thanks, Alyssa. Thank you, guys. Thank you.